got uh, we got a call from Sean Smith saying that the uh, exhibition at um, Dean Clough Halifax was in fact on after um, we hadn't heard heard back from for a while, so we were all very excited. And the show came back really quickly, and uh, we had to sort of all gather and see what work we had that was uh, that had the strength to, to put into the show. Uh, the selection process uh, for any exhibition is very exciting and very interesting. Um, so, but, but you do have to sort of narrow it down. And you're not careful. You can end up spending hours trying to figure out which which sort of work goes well together. Mm -hmm. Stuff is, um, like I said, it is new, it's, it, it, it is new territory. But for an artist, um, it, it's good to do these events and host these things. And for, for a brief moment, you feel that you're like it's, it all comes together and it makes sense as to why you're doing it and you're lending that out to the public. And it's a really wonderful experience to to, to feel like you're. A part, a part of uh, the world a little bit because you're very ins insulated and isolated to, doing your paintings in your studio. Um, so doing that, so it's also a wonderful opportunity to see uh, your, your, your work all in one space and how it looks uh, on, alongside each other in, in, a, in a gallery setting, but also really wonderful to uh, bounce that off and do, do the styles of, of works that are uh, exhibited with the other artists. Or, or I'm sort of getting into the drawing. I always want to convey the kind of energy of the city. That's my love, the energy of the city. Trying to get uh, the idea of people, traffic, architecture, but that feeling of kind of like movement and of being there. I do many, many sketches on location, and then I take the information back to the studio. So when I when I come away from the place, you know, and I put all the work together, it's then that I start thinking, well, what if what if I could do this? But it's generally, and I, the, the kind of large scale is almost, I want to feel like I, and people who actually look at it as well, are, are actually moving into the scene, feeling the kind of energy of the city. And, and I'm kind of lucky enough to actually, I'm drawn in like, obviously London, but actually New York and Tokyo, and very recently Shanghai. So, you know, some places I know very well, but some places it's kind of like kind of new and I want to bring that idea through to it that I'm kind of searching for something. The work I selected for my, my part of the exhibition, uh, I wanted to show where really where I come from. Uh, the fact that I live in the North West, you know, a lot of my work is about the North West. I'm proud of my uh, working class heritage. You know, growing up in Runcorn, right next to the Mersey Estuary. I wanted to kind of bring to the attention of another wider audience the work that I was doing around about the Mersey Gateway Bridge, uh, which I've obviously recorded from start to finish. And I wanted to give um, the viewers who come to the exhibition a bit of a taste of that. Oh, yeah, I wanted to put like to the viewers, this is a bit of history that's happened in the North West, and it's kind of you know, it's been a big thing that's happened in the North West. There's a lot of controversy over, over the bridge, you know, with the, the fact that you're having to pay as a toll bridge. So I wanted to bring, you know, to a wider audience really, show this piece of history that's happening in my town and, you know, proud to be a part of that really. I think the hardest part of organising the exhibition was um, kind of getting us, getting us there in the time limit we had to get to work there, um, making sure everyone had a strong uh, visual narrative in the show, making sure the work kind of made sense of each other really. I think that's one of the hardest things of organising it and um, looking at the work on, on the wall, um, just making sure there's a really strong story to tell that the public would appreciate. The paintings that I chose for the exhibition, as you can see here, are very specifically to do with defining the elemental. Uh, they're both abstract paintings and one is absolutely to do with the human uh, condition. Uh, and that is the study abstraction, which is the green and the orange painting. And the other one is to do with the beginning of life. Um, and that started off in water. So I painted water initially for about three months using layers. And then later on I abstracted the beginning of life on top of that so that you've got a floating type of feeling of the life starting inside the water so th those were the reasons why i chose those two paintings um inside the space itself when i when i looked at them 
I thought it was really wonderful in, in as much as that it's the first time I've been able to stand a great distance away from them and, and see them for what they are, which I think is, was brilliant. And I think that goes across the board for all the artists. It's, it's a wonderful space to exhibit in for the sheer size of it and, and the availability of you being able to stand away and look at the work and get close up at the same time, which I thought was really, really good. I chose those particular paintings and it was, um, well really, for, in terms of for the title of the exhibition, Defining the Elemental, I felt it had to be really quite expressive, really strong uh, emotional work, uh, because my work is quite, it's quite different, some are, some are more realistic than others and some are quite expressive, I thought I really went for the more expressive stuff for that exhibition, uh, to put it in a sort of cohesive look as well as my work, rather than mixing it. It's all purely landscapes. I thought it was a fantastic space. It you know, really suited everyone's work, really. Uh, and it looked, you know, as a whole, the whole exhibition looked fantastic, I thought. Uh, well, I was, first of all, I mean, is the light. The light over there is just so different from here. It's, you know, it's quite sort of monotone and flat here. But the light over there is obviously just makes sunshine, basically. <laughs> you, know, you can't get away from that. And even when it's quite dull over there, it's, it's still a Amazing quality of light over there, and that does reflect reflect in your work as well. I think that's really you know, really important because that's what that's what I'm trying to capture really is light and atmosphere in my work. Well, I chose them because they were things that I've been working on recently. I, that was the main reason. And also because it was a, because of the name of the show, I think I thought it was to do with, to do with landscape. Although now, in retrospect, I mean, put the show up, I'm wondering whether I chose the right piece. Um, because I put a piece in which was a recent piece, which wasn't a landscape, it was a figure, figure thing, but didn't, possibly was, was a bit of an anomaly with the others. But because it was something I'd worked on, uh, recently, and I was interested in it, that's why I presume. Yeah, maybe um, one of the lows, start with the lows. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, you do work a lot on your own and you, you kind of struggle away and then quite often you don't get that much um, feedback or response. Um, I think it's great to be, I like to work outdoors, now, some of the work isn't because I've been doing figure work, but I do like to be outside and I think when you're kind of out on the hillside and the sun's shining and you're, you're just out in the landscape, that is, it can be kind of fantastic. Uh, I've been following Dean Cross uh, gallery space for a number of years and uh, I found the space to be one of the best I've seen in the North West and I thought, well showing work from the best work from the North West, why not use Dean Clough and showcase some of the best talent I think in the North West to be seen, plus seeing talent from the down south in London and talent from Sweden. I thought it would be a fantastic opportunity for the people in the North West to actually see what should be going on. Uh, I'd love to do this uh, on a, a yearly, uh, yearly or bi-yearly event, um, I think the exhibition has been very successful, um, I absolutely love the show, um, I loved how the poetry holds the show together, you've got kind of, as well as a visual narrative, you've got a literacy narrative to the show, which I think is quite unique, um, I think it's something that's a, a good start to point and I think can get even bigger, even better as, as the years go by. Um, visitors that I met on the day are appreciative of the work. So uh, I thought about the title which was Defining the Elemental and in my work I'm seeking to explore landscape that relates to human activity and often the uh, junction between human activity and the landscape can be quite fractured. So
So uh, all the works in this show uh, show that kind of fractured landscape where one piece slides up against the other and it's, it's just really like a metaphor for, for what's happening. Um, Colour-wise, uh, I try and uh, use uh, colours that I find in the landscape but take different studies and uh, perhaps kind of tilt the colour a little bit so it puts you slightly on edge, e either from a dark point of view like a nocturne, like, like, like the house painting, or like with the light greens um, for, the, for the landscape painting. The, the exhibition space at Dean Clough for me was, uh, was a really exciting moment because I hadn't seen the space before until I walked in with the paintings to, for the hanging and uh, you know it's a huge it's a huge gallery which means that everybody has um, a little area where you can concentrate on each individual artist but it hangs together as a group because you can move easily around you can scan um, and, and the way that the exhibition has been hung is also really interesting because it moves from colour to, to drawings to texture. So um, the space is really good. It, it, it allows for that, um, for that expression. Well, I think initially, because they were all um, urban landscapes, uh, well, not all of them, all of them by, uh, by one. And that was uh, an Ellen Bridge series with some figures in foreground when they were rebuilding Ellen Bridge. But I chose that to go with the other landscapes because it, it sat with the other landscapes and I thought it sat nicely with the other landscapes tonally and uh, energy wise as well. And uh, well, I did pick those, those uh, four because of the tonal qualities of them, they were about, you know, similar tonal qualities. And they're all sort of painted in quite a direct way as well, you know. So the energy were quite similar amongst them all. I think it's a great space. It's, it's absolutely beautiful space. I recommend if anybody can get an exhibition there and a, a decent painter, you know, it's, uh, he ought to send his proposal into Dean Proof. It's a lovely space, lovely and light, plenty of room, you know. But yeah, it's terrific. It's fantastic. Oh. It's a privilege to show that. Um, well, I chose the work um, primarily because I've been working uh, on Sef the Sefton Coast for a number of years um, and I'd had uh, completed some larger work um, over the last couple of years uh, and the process was going out onto the beach and um, or into the woods and carrying out uh, quick sketches and then um, when I got them back to the studio I started the painting based on you know the memory and using the sketches uh, as an air memoir, really. Well, that was that wasn't easy, to be honest. Um, I've worked, because I've been looking after my mum for the last couple of years, the, the latest sort of work I've done in the last two years was uh, local scenes, so landscape mainly, so I decided that's what's going in, um, and then it was a matter of choice between the ones that I thought were the best or not. Oh, I think it's a great space now, um, and it's huge. Uh, at first we were a bit worried whether we'd get everybody's in, but in the end we had plenty of space. Um, and it's massive, isn't it? Massive. So, um, it, and, and it works really well, I think, um, with, this, with the, uh, the paintings that went in there, the drawings, etc. And, um, obviously it's a very prestigious place, so it gets the people in.